There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge. Hey guys, this is Hydra from Xtrades, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to select a strike price and expiration date with options trading, right? So with this question, there's a lot of factors that come into play, and these are the factors, right? Account size, how much you're actually willing to risk, the dollar amount, and are you aiming for a really high risk reward ratio, um, or a low risk reward ratio, and then the type of trade, is it a day trade? Or is it a swing or is it a, um, a leap or like a much longer outplay? And you have to consider the stock volatility as well, right? So with account size, we have to, if, if you have a big account, then it's always better to be playing safe, right? Um, you want to be playing at the money or in the money strikes, right? Out of the money is when you have smaller accounts and you're going for those big, those bigger risk reward ratios. But if you have a big account size, uh, your first primarily your first goal is to protect your capital, and the best way to do that is by playing it uh, safer with at the money or in the money strike prices. But if you're looking for those super big, um, super high risk high reward trades, and you're trying to grow like a small account size to like for example, you're trying to grow a thousand dollar account to like a twenty thousand dollar account, you want to definitely be going for out of the money strikes. But again, this is based on your risk tolerance and what you're looking for in the market. So personally, I trade with a bigger account size. So whenever I play options, I usually go at the money. Um, I never go in the money. I feel like in the money is just really safe. And at that point, you could just buy shares instead of going for the option play. But yeah, I typically, I typically go at the money or out of the money one to two strikes out. And I'll get into that more a little bit later. And then the dollar of risk. So if you only have, if you have a thousand dollar account and you're only trying to risk 10% of your account, then uh, you can only risk a hundred dollars per um, contract, right? And in that case, you definitely want to go out of the money because uh, your dollar risk is very low. So you definitely have to go out of the money to risk that low uh, of a dollar amount. But if you have higher risk, then definitely want to go at the money or in the money. And then risk reward, right? We covered this, but uh, out of the money gives you the best risk reward um, ratio, but it's also very high risk, right? So there's a very good chance that this could expire uh, worthless, where these can uh, the, these can expire with uh, premium, right? So with out of the money, you have to consider that there's uh, data working against you, right? Your options are going to lose uh, more more premium more quickly if they're out of the money compared to at the money or in the money. So you have to consider data. Data is a very important factor, right? Um, but when things do work, out of the money contracts will have much bigger percent gains compared to at the money or in the money. Um, and then we'll also talk about type of trade. So if it's like a day trade, swing or leap, and then volatility of the actual stock itself. Um, so for example, if you have a forty dollars stock and it's trade, it trades, um, it trades around one dollar. It, it trades so if it, there's a forty dollars stock and it tends to trade or it has implied volatility of one dollar so that means plus or minus plus or minus one dollar every week there's a chance that it'll either close at 41 or 39 or it could stay flat right that's the implied volatility and if you're playing for a strike price with a 45 dollar strike price then there's a very good chance this is not a great play right because you have to consider the volatility of the stock this is a slow moving stock you don't want to be going out way too far out of the money right and same thing vice versa so let's say this is a really high volatility stock and it has like a plus or minus 10 implied volatility so it could go from 30 to 50 then there's no point in going 42 strike price right because this is very <clears throat> the volatility of the stock is very high so you definitely want to go more out of the money so yeah that you have to consider the stock's volatility as well and I'll just go over what in the money, out of, at the money, and out of the money mean, right? So if there's a $40, if there's a stock, let's call it XYZ, and it's 
currently forty dollars trading at forty dollars and the money would be um anywhere from like in the money would just mean it's less than forty dollars right the strike price is less than forty dollars is in the money at the money means uh, a strike price of forty dollars and then out of the money means anything above forty dollars is out of the money so it's a pretty simple concept so in the money again it's just anything a strike price less than forty dollars so if you're buying a thirty five dollar call option then that's in the money if you're buying a forty dollar call option that's at the money if you're buying a forty two dollar call um that's out of or wait i messed up if if you're buying a forty dollar um call then that's at the money and if you're buying a forty two dollar call um that's out of the money but yeah that's what out of the money at the money in the money mean so pretty simple concept it's just dependent on the stock price and where the strike is uh, where the strike price is um but yeah that's strike price and cover data and now we're going to cover um expiration date right so this is I, I i'm gonna try to break it down as simple as possible for so for day trades i play weekly expirations so if it's a monday i'm gonna be playing this friday's expiration date so that's how i play day trades or scalps um yeah so these are usually trades that i buy and sell within the same day um so yeah that's what a day trade is and yeah usually for those i will always play the coming weeks expiration date and for swing trades i typically go one to three months out um and uh, for leaps i go one year out so leaps are not something that i typically do um all right let's cover swings first so swings are uh trades that are usually momentum based so if there's a strong stock and it's flagging now then i want to buy and then i typically go one to three months out right so that's a good example of a swing trade um and for these type of trades i usually go um one to two strikes out of the money and for day trades i usually go at the money or one out of the money and for leaps i typically go uh really depends for leaps it's yeah i would say it's dependent because uh depend it, it really depends on how the straw the how the stock trades and its actual volatility so it's very dependent but yeah let's go over day trades and swings because that's what 90 percent of most people's trades are um so for day trades always go weekly expiration and then if a stock is trading at 41 dollars then i'll always go at 41 or one out of the money so 42 um yeah pretty simple there and for swing trades I will always go one to three months out. One month means I'm more confident the move will happen uh, quicker. Three months if the stock tends to trade more choppier and it's a uh, more of a slow mover, right? So if it's a quick mover, I'll go less time out. And if it's a slow or fast mover, I'll go less time out. And if it's a slow mover, I'll go more time out. I typically go, uh, yeah, around, I almost always go two strikes out of the money. So if a stock is trading, at forty dollars, and the uh, strike prices are at one dollar. The gap between each strike price is one dollar. Then I'll go. Uh, so if it stocks trading at forty, then I'll play forty to call. All right. Same thing for put. I'll go thirty eight p if I wanted to play the short short side. But yeah, that's swing trading, that's day trading, and for leaps, I typically go one year out. So for leaps, I actually don't do leaps uh, too much. If I want to play something long term, I usually just buy shares itself. I just find that easier. But if you want to do leaps, then typically you want to go one year out. And uh, dependent on the stock price um, and how it trades, then you would uh, choose uh, how far you want to go out of the money. But typically, um, leaps are usually high risk, high reward play. So if it works out, it can it can be a huge gain, right? So typically, you want to go out of the money since you're giving. Uh, it a long time right so typically around three plus out of the money three strikes out of the money um yeah that's pretty much um how i choose strike prices and expiration dates i hope this helped uh break things down for you guys um yeah thank you for listening and feel free to dm me if you guys have any questions thank you for watching
There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.